Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. So this is the other Wednesday, which makes it Hidden Figures Day. And today's hidden figure is going to be now. This woman has a French name, and there are a lot of French names and words in reference to a lot of her accomplishments. You guys know that I can barely pronounce shit in English, so please forgive me if I butcher this in French, and let me know how to pronounce it in the comments. Leopoldine Emma Douala Bell Smith. Bell Smith I can do, who is the world's first black flight attendant. Um, I did do a previous hidden figures on Ruth Carol Taylor, who was the first uh, American, black American flight attendant. But Leopoldine Emma Duella Bell Smith was actually the first uh, global. She was the first black flight attendant in the world. And she flew one year before uh, Ruth Carol Taylor. So I, I wanted to do this video on her. Um, so let's go ahead and get in. Uh, her aviation career took off early on when Douala Bell Smith, a princess of the royal family of Cameroon, accepted an after-school job as a ground hostess with UAT, which was the Union, ooh, here we go with the French, de transports Ariennes or UTA, the airline that, along with Air France, served France's African roots, because at the time, uh, Cameroon was owned by France. She stayed on for two years and after graduating from high school in 1956 at the age of 17, was recruited and sent to Paris for flight training by Air France. In 1957, Smith began flying as a stewardess with UAT, which would later merge, <coughs> excuse me, to be part of the UTA, and Smith, at the time, didn't know that she was making history as the first black person to serve as a flight attendant for any airline. Taylor's initial flight took place on February 11th, 1958. Yet again, Smith's took place in 1957. By 1960, she was recruited by Air Afrique, uh, or Afrique, let me know, I can't pronounce shit, a pan-African airline mainly owned by many West African countries created to serve 11 newly independent, independent from France who own them, French-speaking nations. In fact, her stellar credentials as an African with French aviation experience helped her stand out so much that she became the airline's first official hire, and her employee identification card literally read number one. It didn't take long for her to get promoted to Air Afrique, I think that's Afrique, right? Air Afrique's first cabin chief position. During her time as a flight attendant, Smith flew throughout Africa and as far away as Australia. Because of the color of her skin, some white passengers treated her like an outcast, but dark-skinned passengers often welcomed her presence. Smith also experienced frequent sexual harassment in addition to racism, and on one occasion, she slapped a white man who had touched her breasts. In 1969, after 12 years as a flight attendant, Smith left Air Afrique to become manager of Reunited Transport Leaders Travel Agency in Libreville, Gabon? Gabon? G-A-B-O-N? Am I saying that right? Let me know. Six years later, she relocated to Washington, D.C. to study English at Georgetown University, where she also met her American husband, Leroy Smith. Smith returned to Gabon in 1976, where she was hired by Air Zaire as station and officer manager at the Libreville Airport. Smith also supported the Skull Club, now known as Skull International, which is the International Association of Professionals, Leaders, and Friends who were seeking to promote travel and tourism in Africa. And this woman is also known for doing just like a lot of philanthropic work and different types of work around like promoting air travel and tourism in Africa. That's like her thing. Smith and her husband moved to Lima, Peru in 1983 for a Peace Corps assignment. And while there, she remained in the travel industry and worked as a travel consultant. Smith and her husband retired in 2003 and moved to Denver where they established the Business and Intercultural Services for Educational, Travel, and Associated Learning Bicital, which encourages on-site education about Africa and other non-Western cultures. Smith also volunteers at Denver International Airport through their ambassador program, welcoming visitors to the Mile High City and assisting them to find their way through the airport. In 2015, Smith was honored at the 40th anniversary of Black Flight Attendants of America organization at Los Angeles International Airport's Flight Path Museum. She's still alive, and she and her husband still live in Denver. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and read you guys this quote. 
When I was young, there were only white men and women working on the plane, she remembers. They were rude. They would tell me not to touch them or not to touch their things. I would just walk away and help other people. Because that's all you could do with these white motherfuckers. Leopoldine Emma Duala Bell Smith. A hidden figure. Hopefully you guys are having a great week. Um... For all of you guys that tuned in to my five hour long beast bake, I cannot believe we streamed for five hours. We were just really having a good time. Uh, always had so much fun with you guys and can't wait to see you again in the next live stream and in the next video. And I think my computer is stuck. Can you guys hear it making that noise? There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Hidden Figures Day, see you guys next time. Of course, there'll be links in the description box. Make sure you read more about this woman. She's super, super, super amazing. And I will see you guys next time. Food for thought as always, Hidden Figures. Peace.